say I'm ready to be executed? I mean, I don't want to be, because especially now that I'm speaking to my daughter, I like that. But, uh... I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper John David Battaglia Jr., born August 2nd, 1955, was a convicted murderer in the United States who was executed by the state of Texas for filicide. He was convicted of murdering his two young daughters in May 2001 as an ultimate revenge against his estranged wife, Mary Jean Pearl, who had separated from him following his numerous assaults and violence. Battaglia was born on a military base in Enterprise, Alabama, to Italian parents. He moved across the country and to Germany as a child. His father retired from the military in 1970. He ultimately graduated from Dumont High School after attending high school in Oregon and Dumont, New Jersey. He then attended Fairleigh Dickinson University, where he majored in accounting after beginning as a pre-med major, but dropped out in 1976 at the urging of a friend. He later joined the Marines after getting into trouble with the law for using illegal drugs where he rose to the rank of sergeant before leaving the Marines to work as an accountant. He relocated to Dallas because his father worked there, and he studied at night to become a certified public accountant. In Dallas, he got married to Michelle Getty and had a daughter, Christy. Michelle, who was an attorney, filed a request for Battaglia to be arrested on grounds of harassment and domestic violence. He assaulted her outside the school Christy attended on one occasion, causing her a broken nose on another, and in retaliation for the arrest request, he assaulted her at a bus stop, causing her to be admitted to a hospital. Battaglia admitted guilt to a misdemeanor charge in 1987 and was sentenced to two years probation. On April 6, 1991, Battaglia married Mary Jean Pearl. Mary lived in Highland Park, Texas, which is part of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Battaglia and Pearl had two daughters, Mary Faith and Liberty Mae Battaglia, who attended John S. Bradfield Elementary School in Highland Park. Pearl and Battaglia separated in January 1999 after verbal abuse, and he was not allowed to live with her. Battaglia was visiting Faith and Liberty for the holidays in 1999 when he attacked Pearl in a domestic violence incident. As a result, he pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor assault charge and was sentenced to two years probation once more. Pearl immediately filed for divorce following the incident, and the divorce was finalized in August 2000. Pearl was attempting to have Battaglia's parole revoked for harassing her over the phone. He was not supposed to send her messages, and she claimed that he should be imprisoned due to his history of domestic violence. He also used marijuana, which was a violation of his probation. Despite his previous domestic violence against adult women, Pearl did not believe he was willing to harm his daughters and was allowed to visit them on a regular basis. He made negative statements about his ex-wives while making positive statements about his daughters to his acquaintances. According to Jackie Lynn Floyd, a columnist for the Dallas Morning News, he fooled people into thinking he was a devoted father. Pearl left her daughters with Battaglia for a planned dinner at the mall on May 2nd. 2001, but he instead took them into his apartment in Dallas Adam Hatt's lofts in Deep Ellum. Battaglia dialed Pearl's number from the apartment. He asked Faith to ask Pearl, why do you want Daddy to go to jail, while Pearl was on the phone? Faith then sobbed, no, Daddy. Please don't. Don't do it. Pearl then instructed the girls to flee, but it was too late. Battaglia pulled out his gun and shot Faith three times and Liberty five times before telling Pearl, Merry fucking Christmas, referring to the Christmas 1999 attack. Pearl hung up the phone and dialed 911. Battaglia left a message on the answering machine in the girl's bedroom after the killings.
Bataglia then went to a tattoo parlor and had two roses tattooed on his left biceps to represent his daughters. He was apprehended shortly after, and also after first engaging in a fistfight with the arresting officers, which resulted in a black eye. The capital murder trial of Bataglia began on April 22, 2002, at the Frank Crowley Courts Building in Dallas. The lead prosecutor was Howard Blackman, and Bataglia was represented by Paul Johnson and Paul Browley. Before convicting Bataglia of the most serious charge, capital murder, jurors deliberated for 19 minutes. During the penalty phase of the trial, Bataglia's attorneys argued that their client should not be sentenced to death because he suffered from bipolar disorder. That same jury sentenced Bataglia to death on April 30, 2002. Bataglia was held at the Polonsky unit near Livingston after receiving his sentence. His ex-wife told him after the sentence that he would burn in hell forever. She also stated, you are one of the most heinous murderers of modern times. I would like to say the next time you see me is when they put the needle in your arm. But I'm not going to waste the time to be there. Pearl changed her mind and went to see the execution almost 16 years later. Christy Battaglia, his first daughter, and his first wife, Michelle Giddy, both publicly supported Battaglia's execution. Battaglia's attorneys fought to have his sentence commuted from death to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Battaglia was scheduled to be executed on March 30, 2016, but the Fifth United States Circuit Court of Appeals issued a stay of execution so that the court could rule on his attorney's claims that he was not mentally competent to be executed. The state of Texas did not challenge this stay and his execution was postponed. On August 15, 2016, Battaglia was given an execution date of December 7, 2016. The Texas Court of Criminal Appeals issued a stay of execution for Battaglia on December 2, 2016, citing concerns about his mental competency. The decision gave his attorney 60 days to present their case to the Court of Criminal Appeals. The Texas Court of Criminal Appeals dismissed Battaglia's claim of mental incompetence on September 20, 2017. A mental health expert testified at a competency hearing in November 2016 that Battaglia was most likely faking symptoms of mental illness in order to postpone his execution. The appeals court agreed, stating that Battaglia was most likely malingering. On October 31st, 2017, Battaglia's death warrant was signed, and a new execution date was set for February 1, 2018. Battaglia was executed by lethal injection on February 1, 2018, at 9.40 p.m. Central Standard Time, at the Huntsville Unit in Huntsville, nearly 16 years after his original sentencing. There was no one in the witness room on the convict's side. Mary Jean Pearl was watching him die from the victim's side of the death chamber viewing area. When he saw his ex-wife in the witness room, Battaglia said, Well, hello, Mary Jean. He then turned to face the warden and said, I'll see y'all later. Bye. Please proceed. I've seen enough of him, Pearl said as she walked away from the glass window that separated her from Battaglia. I got nightmares in my head, I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety.